Shawnee Mission Schools are now starting a new protocol on how they handle immigration issues within the classroom. The school board approving a new resolution last night and 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake joins us live. And Sarah, what is this resolution actually doing exactly? Well, it's assuring families that their kids are taken care of, and it's also a response to an incident at one of their schools in February that the district and ICE officials really want to clear up. ICE agents have never been to any of our schools. The Shawnee Mission School District is sending this message to all families. The district publicly announced a resolution Monday night that protects students from immigration officials coming into a school without going to the superintendent's office first. That way administrators can plan what comes next without traumatizing the child. The district already has a policy barring ICE agents from schools without a warrant. So why announce a resolution now? public and our public uh, contacted us and wanted to have an, an official stance. It's something that we can say um, exactly what I said, that our schools are, are safe and, and inviting places, that they are protected. In February, Prairie Village Police picked up a student at Briarwood Elementary and took him to the Division of Child and Family Services because ICE had detained his parents. The district said rumors spread that ICE agents arrested the boy. ICE enacted a policy in 2011 that states their agents will stay away from sensitive locations like schools or churches. But the confusion is still there. We have families that didn't want to take their kids to school. They thought it was, it was um, really more important for them to keep them at home and feel safe. And that's not what we want for our local communities. El Centro and KCK consulted with the Shawnee Mission School District on the resolution, so families who may be undocumented don't think the worst. The resolution is in a way uh, the beginning part of making sure that then it trickles down so that everybody understands the best way to approach these situations. And I reached out to ICE officials. Their response was, quote, the notion of a school district forming a policy to this effect is a non-issue as it addresses a scenario that does not exist. ICE does not conduct law enforcement in schools. In Overland Park, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. All right.